Producer for Great has set up a program called Not With Me, and to explain and share, we have Michael Convince, President of the Ju German Judicial European Union, and Tom Ismer, your Secretary German Judicial Federation. Please welcome them both as they have 12,000 of our to be with us today. Thank you. So thank you for the introduction. My name is Michael Korn. I'm from the German Jiu-Jitsu Federation and vice president and responsible for, for the youth. So that means we have education program for children, for young people, also education program for trainers. And uh, Not With Me is one of our programs and I will present you this program. This is Tom Isma, he is a professional worker in our federation, he's youth secretary, he's working since 10 years in the federation and, is, and he is also teaching in our program. Hello. Thank you, thank you, thank you. I'm glad and proud to see faces I know very well. So our president from the International Federation, Panautis, welcome as well to this session. And to one of my good friends, and also we worked more than 10 years together, Joe Tumfart from the German Federation. He's general manager of the International Federation, also welcomed. And we both was founder of this program, Not With Me. So what, what is uh, Not With Me? So it's violence prevention, self-assessment. Oh, I make always this mistake assertion and uh, self-defense for kids, youth and young people, but we also have this program for adults, for women, and also for seniors. So that's a complete prog program for everybody. And the program is linked as well to the International Federation and that you have a small overview. We have a small video cl clip, it's uh, in German, but we will explain everything what you will see now. Schau der? Schau da! Schön laut und deutlich rein! Wie ihr sehen könnt, bringen wir vier verschiedene Formen von Gewalt. Lassen Sie mich los! Lassen Sie mich los! Kilian! Nicht mit mir, das erfolgreiche Gewaltpräventionsprojekt für Kinder im Grundschulalter des Deutschen Jugendverbandes. Wir nutzen das umgekehrte Ampelprinzip: Grün für Gewaltprävention, Gelb für Selbstbehauptung und Rot für Selbstverteidigung. Wir haben mittlerweile 1100 ausgebildete Kursleiter. Eine Kursleiterausbildung umfasst zwei Module, jeweils ein komplettes Wochenende mit einer kleinen Abschlussprüfung. Zielgruppe sind Kinder im Grundschulalter. Wir bieten die Kurse an an Schulen, Kindergärten, Vereinen, Schülerhorten und vielen weiteren sozialen Einrichtungen. Welche Form der Gewalt ist es, wenn euch jemand haut? Gefährliche Gewalt. Genau. Ja. Das heißt also, ich erkenne das nicht immer ob jemand gefährlich ist, sondern es kann auch jemand sein, der einen Anzug, eine Krawatte hat oder einfach nur ein T-Shirt anhat. Halt, stopp! Halt, stopp! Halt, stopp! Rechte Arm hoch, zum Passivlock. Stopp! Stopp! Schön laut, anstrengend. Stopp! Super! Ihr holt aus und haut nach unten auf die Bratze. Ein großer Erfolg sind auch die zahlreichen Kooperationen mit unter anderem Banken, Krankenversicherungen, Polizeibehörden und dem Weißen Ring. Denkt nochmal dran, das Heft mit euren Eltern daheim nochmal durchzuarbeiten, die Sachen, die für euch wichtig waren, nochmal zu wiederholen und einfach ab und zu mal reinzugucken, damit ihr nicht vergesst, was wir hier gemacht haben. Dann wünscht mir als erstes den Bo her. habt ihr euch einen gelb-weißen Gürtel verdient. Den kriegt ihr dann dort im Verein und könnt direkt ins Training einsteigen und weiter trainieren. So. We will wait. Now. Now we are back. So that was a small overview. And so that you have a feeling how we work with children. It's not only for children, it's also for youth, as I explained to you. And uh, 
What are the targets? At least we have different targets with our project and different goals. And Not With Me touches as well different political fields. If you look, health is one, because inside the course you move. So and if you move, if you have make sports, so that's good for your, for your health as well. Social, that means you have interaction with different people. So you have to talk with them, you have to say no. And uh, so we also have the security, stay safe, education for everybody, and at least human rights and respecting values. All this is included in Not With Me. If we look at the violence prevention, there's also included sexual violence prevention. And we, when we talk about that, we have to talk in a different way to the different ages. That's also very clear. And the, the last thing is as well self-defense. If you look at the self-defense, and you saw it in the video, we have different ages. And the self-defense, that's the part which is linked to jujutsu. All the techniques we use, they are coming out from jujutsu. And the techniques are worldwide the same. This is connected to the JJF. So we will look at the next slide. This is what I told you before. We have uh, it's aimed to different groups, children between 5 and 12 years. That means as well kindergarten or elementary school, then youth, 13 years and older. And then as well the parents. Parents should be part of our course. Uh, before we start a course, we talk with the parents. That means we have a lesson with the parents that they know what we are doing, what we educate, and so that the parents are informed. And on the other side, this is our education program as well. What we do, we teach trainers for this program. Everybody is welcome. And so we have cooperation international, for example. The German Federation has cooperation with the Slovenian Jiu-Jitsu Federation, with the Dutch Jiu-Jitsu Federation. So we are now here in Thailand, and we are translating at the moment as well the material in Thai language, so that the Thai Jiu-Jitsu Federation has also the possibility to teach this program. In Germany, we have partners like the University Heidelberg, and there it is part of the education program of the teachers. So if you go to the next slide, this is what I said as well. And here you have uh, also pictures from some courses, and you see all ages can do it. At least the trainer must find the right way how to educate. We use, for example, as well games, playing games with the kids so that playing and learning comes together. That's also part of our education program. And if it is possible or necessary, it's also possible to split only a course for girls, only a course for boys. That everybody understand the three steps we have. We use the traffic lights. Green for prevention. Yes, if you see dangerous things, so you can step back. So that's green. Everything is fine. Self-association is yellow. And the last thing we use, and we all hope that we must not use techniques for the self-defense, but at least to know that we are able to defend ourselves. That's very important, because that helps us as well to stay in front and set at the right moment, no. And no is one important word, and everybody should respect this word. If you look inside, we have, uh, yes, dangerous situations. See them, avoid them. That's part of the green. If you look at de-escalation, that means if someone is shouting to me, I leave the room, I leave the place, I let him alone. I will not discuss. So this is also a possibility. Intervention and all those things, good and bad secrets, that's part of how to explain children sexual violence prevention. Because you can make it very easy if you say, a kiss is not allowed, or don't touch, then it's for children five or six years very clear. So you can explain it in different ways. If you go to yellow, that means 
conflicts, talk to each other, say no, say stop, look in the eyes, and this is also important, increase eye competence as well, and self-confidence. And again, let's show these pictures using self-defense techniques. That's the last possibility what we will do or use. But the techniques must be simple so that everybody understand them. And what I tell the people, if you say stop, and stop is part of jujutsu, so everybody world make, worldwide makes jujutsu. Again, traffic light green, prevention yellow, self assertion and red, self-defense. So if you look inside, we see a lot of things which are inside the different fields in the different program. You must recognize what is danger, awareness of danger. We talk about feelings. Don't. If you are fear about something and you feel it, that's not bad. So you notice there's something going on, then you can act. That's very important as well. Then secrets. We talk about good secrets. Everybody of us has good secrets. If someone has birthday, we have present, and we do not present before. That's a good secret. But if someone touch you, and he say, don't talk about that, that's a bad sec secret. That makes bad feelings, and that is what we have to talk with the children. We have to educate them. And this is very important. It's an important message of this program. And then, yes, of course, prevention. And there you see the different possibilities, de-escalation, what I said to you, and how we practice. That means role-play games. So it's a game to educate the people um, how they can act if a real situation will happen. If we go to yellow, different distance, keep distance, be not so close, use your own distance. This is very important as well. Escape, go outside a dangerous situation, help, Help is also important. Help each other or ask for help. That's also important, an important part. And uh, then if you look at the language, at your voice, use your voice. It's allowed to be loud. Say clear, stop. All this is inside the yellow color of the traffic light. And if you look at the self-defense, this is what I said as well, different techniques. And the question is, if I am attacked from someone, what can I do? OK, I can also find sensitive body parts, like ear, eyes, nose, fingers, whatever. And if you look to the techniques, they should be simple. They sh should be useful as a single technique or in a combination, but everybody should remember the techniques. So if you try to teach jujutsu, then you need years, like all martial arts, you, in, you need years to be perfect or good. And in our course, if we have 12 lessons, you must reach the target in 12 lessons. So if you will visit us at the booth, that's very easy. We can, Tom can show you techniques, and you will not forget them because they are easy, that everybody will remember them. And the question is how to explain to the different ages. Explain it that children remember in a very easy way, or that young people or adults understand it and don't forget it. That's also a part of this. Then we make a difference between emergency techniques that means it's a very dangerous situation, but also at your school, in the school yard, we need techniques. And that techniques should not be kicking, not be punching, other easy techniques so that you can find a good solution and a good protection of the situation. 
And this is one of our teachers in course. He said, what can we do? We are not able to create a wolf. But, and this is what I like, but we can turn a sheep into a, a fight sheep. And uh, this picture or this sentence is for me very important because this is what we can do. And everybody can reach this. And if you can fight for your rights, if you can stand up and say no, and if you can defend yourself, that's very important. And I'm very sure that everybody is able to reach this target. But a sheep will never be a wolf. So a lot of things um, I told you before. But I will also say this is uh, very important. Is there a pointer as well? No. Civil courage. This is also one of our goals inside. That means help each other, take care of each other, have respect. That's also very Im important. Because if we walk through our world with open eyes, we see if someone needs help. Look, take care of each other. That's also important. And don't close your eyes. That's also a very important part. And what we say, it's not possible to sell 100% security. If you go to a course and someone will say, yes, come to my course, and you will be 100% safe, never something will happen. That's a promise we cannot give. But remember, we can make a fight sheep. So that you are able put to protect, that you are able to survive if you are willing. And that's, that's very important as well. So this is the next important message is what we send as well inside the course. It's not on the, the slides before. I am strong. If you look at the, sli uh, at the slash number five, this is also very important because what I remember, so we have about 1,200 teachers for this system. So we teach this system since 20 years. And what we found out if you see the children or the young people at the beginning of the course and at the end of the course, then they go out and they are much stronger because they have the feeling inside that they are able to do something, that they are able to change something, that they are able to help someone. And this is a message what we can send out. And uh, if we talk about self-defense, we often hear, yeah, don't do that. No, it's allowed. If you look at your law worldwide, it's allowed. If someone attacks me, punch or kick or grab, it's allowed that I can defend myself. That's according to the, to the law, I think, worldwide. And so this is what we also explain to children. But it's not allowed that you attack someone. So we're also talking about law in our courses. We also explain and speak about mobbing, bullying, and you know that happens. And uh, so if they have an idea to protect in those fields, it's also very important. So this is what, what we also to try to teach in our courses. So we have prepared and uh, we started our course system at the beginning with out any booklets. And then we have had one booklet for all. But on the other side, if you want to teach in a very good way, if you want to teach that it fits to all the groups, it's necessary that you have education material. And so we created booklets for children from 5 to 8, 8 till 12, and for young people over 13 years old. And if you want to see them or take some booklets, so we have a booth over there, 
so it's no problem. Tom will hand you over if you have any questions. And uh, then they are in English. And um, then what we also have, and this is for institutions, that's for schools, that's for universities. It's called Not With, With Us. That's a book for sexual violence prevention. How you can prevent sexual violence. And there are a lot of informations inside, but we do not have it at the moment in English. That's our next target, what we want to do, because um, we also have to put some things out, which are specially for Germany, according to our law, according to our possibilities. And so we want to make a general booklet so that everybody can use that as well. These are some of the German booklets. And uh, we have the English booklets here. That's the booklet for the instructors. Everything what they learned in our course, the instructors, they can read in the booklet. And we also use an internet platform, Moodle. Maybe you know it from the university. And there we have also those materials and much more. So and we have the booklets for, for the kids. So if we go for our trainer courses, yes, we teach them how to train the children, trust games, training self-defense. They have theoretical lessons, but also a lot of practice. You know, everything, what you did for yourself in practice, it's much easier to present and to teach. Then we are also talking about uh, gender. Yes, if it is possible or necessary to have a course for girls or boys. We are talking about financing courses. Also, it's possible that our we have teachers. They only make courses. They earn their money with these courses. So that's also a possibility to have a job and to do something for children. And the rest, what I told, is also written here. So I will, this is what I told you as well. Cooperation since 2021 with the JJF project, Jiu Jitsu for Good, it's a part. 2019, we translated the first booklets. And if you go to our web page uh, from the German Jiu Jitsu Federation, you will find all the materials as well. English. We do not have secrets. Everything what we have, we share with everybody. Also sharing knowledge is very important. This is what we do in our federation as well. We are creating now a platform where we can share knowledge. Everybody can put knowledge inside. Everybody can use it. Because if someone leaves his place, his company, this federation, a lot of knowledge get lost. And this is what we want to have, that everybody can use the knowledge we have. So what are the possibilities and chances of not with me? At least it's a project to create, that's our opinion, a better world. Because if we have more safe places, if we have less violence, if we have more people who are respecting values, and if you look at values we have in the different martial arts, they are the same. If we look at what government says or what we want to have, what the respect we want to have, these are the values which are also inside this system. And uh, that's why we work for this project. And, tuk. and this is Jiu Jitsu for Good. And it's not only in Jiu Jitsu for Good, the German project. We have worldwide different projects. And all those projects, you also find the web page of the International Jiu Jitsu Federation. So that was a short introduction, 25 minutes. Because you said 30 minutes. And it should be also the possibility, if you want, to make some questions. And um, so we have Tom here. We have also uh, 
was involved and is still involved, Joachim Tumfat here, uh, they can also answer your questions. And I invite you as well, be interested in two different, in, in two important things. Help each other and share your knowledge. And if we do that together, we are able to change the world. Thank you.